Today is World Plumbing Day, and I've come to my original college where I first learned art, SGS in Stroud, and I'm here to basically set the lads a bit of a challenge in the classroom. What I want them to do is create a pipework jig up. They've got a three meter length bit of pipe. They have to do it with try and create as least amount of wastage as possible. Whoever does it the best, I'm gonna give a 50 pound Amazon gift voucher to. Today's video is sponsored by Monument Tools. As you know, I use them a lot in my videos, especially the benders, and they've been very kind and actually donated this college, lots of benders for the college students to use. And we also got some copper pipe cutters. So I'm gonna go ahead and replicate exactly what they need to do. I'll make a little video for them. We'll try and stick it up on the whiteboard and if they ever need any hands, then they can use that as a reference. So let's get plumbing. I'm gonna start with one of the hardest sections of the jig, the double 45 degree bend. And before I put any pipe clips in, I'm gonna hover up bits of the pipe work to then position the clips further away from soldering points. So obviously this is 100 mil, and then I'm gonna guess about up here, across to here, and then up. And I'm gonna give myself about 610. So I'm just go up 610, which is about here. So I'm also going to cut this pipe section up here. So I'm going to give that a rough measurement as I want a straight piece of pipe for reference. So I'm going to go 450. And now I have a straight length bit of pipe. I can position him roughly where he needs to be. And then I can hover this piece up to it and then get my 100 mil for a start then. And take this piece out of the way. So I'm gonna show you a little trick with these monument pipe benders, and it allows you to get this 45 degree bend perfect every time. It's a simple formula. We do 1.4 times our set measurement that we need, which is 50. And that equals 1.4 times 50 equals 70. Now we have that measurement. Go ahead and mark 70 mil on our pipe. What we want to do is mark all the way around it. And on the monument benders, you want to position the first mark just after the arm. And we've got markings on the side of the benders. So we've got a 30, 45, 60, and a 90. And obviously we want two 45s, so we're going to go to this marker here. You can go ahead and color it in if you really want to. We slide the top part of the section of the benders in and just bend until you see that mark. So we've got 30 and 45. Once you've got your first bend done, you've got your second mark and you want to put that again just after the arm. Make sure he's square in the benders. Put your arm over the top. And then your second 45. So we've got 30 and 45 there. So using that formula, that should get you perfectly where you need it. So the next part of your pipe is a 90 degree bend this way. And what you want to do is mark the center and then 17 mil back from here. 17 mil, which is there. Make sure you mark fully around your pipe. This just, just makes life a little bit easier. And what I like to do is because we're bending this way, is make sure that you make a nice reference line in the center. And that should stop you from bending this the wrong way. If you bend this pipe the wrong way, you're going to be eating a lot of your three meter length and you'll have a considerable amount of wastage or you might even go into your next pipe. So because we're bending this way and not naturally that way, what I like to do is actually put it in the benders here and then you can guarantee that you're definitely bending this way. Go ahead and offer him just after the arm there. Put the form aside in and bend all the way down to a 90 degree. 
Now these benders do have a bit of spring back when you let go, so make sure you just go a touch more. And that should be perfect for you. So after you get this main pipe done, what I'm gonna do is mark out my fittings. So we've got a T piece here, and we've got a 90 degree here, and a 90 degree down there. With your fittings placed and your pipe in the position, I'm gonna go ahead and mark center marks for my clips. So we've got one going about here. We put this one opposite. So we're gonna go here. Let's put another one here. And we'll have another one opposite that. And then finally, one in the middle over here. And I missed you over there. So because I want you to use the same stuff that I use on my day to day, we're going to be using clips from EcoClip. So once you've got your clips in, you can put your first section of bit of pipe that you've done in before. Make sure he fits. I think the next best section to do is this left hand side. What we're going to do is put your 15 mil copper in place. You can stick a fitting on if you really wanted to. And we're going to have to calculate a 90 degree bend to come into this T. Like before, mark where he crosses the line and measure back 70 mil. I'm going to go ahead and pull a 90 degree bend, same as before. One bent piece of pipe into the clips, into the fit in, down into the next clips. So we're almost done with the bottom section. We're going to mark our T and cut him in with the center line coming this way. So the internal depth's about here. There's our first bit of waste. And we'll just measure the top section in, which is 155. With the top section all done, you're able just to mark where he touches the edge of the pipe and cut him off. One last test fit. On the bottom, I'm going to want you to bring out to that 115. And this piece, I want 150 millimeters from the center line of here to the top of the pipe. To do so, we're going to cut off a piece of our pipe, 235. So what you want to do is hover it into your T and over the line, mark your center and then measure 70 mil back again. And that'll give you your point where you want to put it in your benders. Just after the arm. So we're just test fit him. So he fits lovely on the line now. And this is the point where you want to put your clip just after the throat of the bend and far away from your solder point as possible. Using one of my scrap pieces of pipe, I can now measure center to the top, and that's 150 mil. If you want, now you can go ahead and mark your final clip and screw them in. While you're here, you might as well cut your five pieces of 100 mil for the P. So let's go ahead and solder it all up.
Now, there is one thing that I forgot to tell you, was that because you're doing a T into an elbow, your distance here of 100 mil is slightly shorter. So cutting down about 97. And to solder this square, what I'm gonna do is take it out and using the edge of the bench, I'm gonna basically push down on the corners and do each section at a time. So we're gonna do these two elbows. Let's go ahead and put our final piece together. And obviously we need to try and make sure that this is as level as possible. There's a couple of different methods to use. You could squeeze them up with a pair of grips. Some people do the fit in. I like to do the pipe. So we're gonna try that to start with. Give me a little twist. That should help. Also, what you can do is use a tape measure and sort of get them underneath and lock them in place. And go ahead and finish the deal breaker fitting. So at the end of it, you should have something that looks like this. Fitting's all clean, bends all level, top section as level as you can get it. Pretty good, pretty good. So here's a closer look at the front order solder fittings, and here's a view from the back, no drip. So I'm just gonna calculate my total wastage. So that's what's left of my three meter length. I've got 119 millimeters. So that was me showing exactly how the lads are gonna do the challenge. I'm eager to see how they get on. Like I said, whoever does it the best, I'm gonna give them a little prize. So I just wanna say another big thanks to Monument Tools for sponsoring this video. Like I said, it's really nice to get back to the local college and give back a little bit extra to help the lads with their learning. If you liked today's video, then please give it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you on the next one.